Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make Friday Night Funkin' covers. So go to YouTube first, then you're going to want to um, search up a MIDI. I'm going to be doing Unknown Suffering. Then go to... You can use either FLP or MIDI. I like to use MIDI, so I already have it downloaded by the way, so no need to download it again. Then you're gonna wanna either download a sound font for the character. I'd suggest using super stamps. Sound fonts. His sound fonts are good, so. Don't have it. Then here, there's another way to do it. You can use ch chromatic scales. So yeah, just do the same thing, just go go to any chromatic that you find and download it. Then you're going to want to go to FL Studio. Then you're going to want to go to File, then press Open. Then, it's probably in Download, so just click on, uh, double click on the MIDI. Then press Accept. So now we'll play the music, but it won't have the the characters yet. So you're gonna to use sound fonts. You're gonna wanna right click it, then go to replace sound font player, then pick the sound font that you want. There, I'll, I'll go. I'll go use the Monica XE that I had. I think I have it somewhere. I'll just use this. There, that's how you make covers with sound fonts. Then there's another way using chromatic scales. Just press add slice x. Then go here, press load sample, and then just go to a chromatic that you have downloaded. There, I'm gonna use Shaggy. <laughs> For some reason, mine is already sliced, but but if it's not already sliced for you, you're going to want to go here, auto slice, and then dull auto slicing. And then, then go in here, into the piano roll, then the chromatic should have all the notes loaded, but you're going to want to delete all of them. So by delete to delete it, you just right click, you just hold right click, and then, and then you just um, move the mouse around, and it will delete the notes that it hits. So now you're gonna want to go to the, go where the um character you want to use. I'm gonna use boyfriend. Then I'm gonna right click it, press copy here. Then I'm gonna. Right click Shaggy and then I'm gonna paste. And now it should work. I'm not sure why it's not working.
The chromatic scales are a bit complicated, guys. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, so it's, in my opinion, it's easier to use sound fonts. But then when you're finished the cover, you're going to want to go to File, Export. You're going to want to export it as a WAV MP3 or OGG file. Because they're audio files. Don't do the, unless you make a MIDI, then don't don't export it as a MIDI. And yeah, that's how you make covers. Bye, guys.